Research tells us that the more social capital, meaning the more connections to other people a person has, the greater quality of life they will have. Some people with disabilities have limited opportunities for making friends, developing relationships, and becoming involved in their communities, and this can affect their overall health and well-being. The concept of a microboard, created by Vela Canada, was designed to empower people with disabilities to build the lifestyle that best supports their health and growth. These small structured groups help people with disabilities use the money provided by government to purchase the particular supports they need. A microboard is made up of dedicated friends and family who work together to help an individual plan their life, brainstorm ideas, advocate for what they need, monitor services, and connect the individual to their wider community. We, the Canadian Institute for Inclusion and Citizenship, wanted to understand in what ways microboards help to increase people's social capital. In partnership with Vela Canada and Community Living BC, and supported by MyTax, we organized a research project to interview several people who were involved in microboards across the province of British Columbia, Canada. We asked questions and listened to the stories of people with disabilities and their board members. Here's what we found. Microboards act as a platform or vehicle to increase social capital and quality of life for people with disabilities. Microboards increase general well-being, health, safety, stability, and self-determination for people with disabilities, and help people strengthen friendships, relationships, and connection to their community. In listening to the stories of people involved in microboards, we found four key features of microboards that connected to social capital and quality of life outcomes. Autonomous, person-centered, empowering, and interconnected. Autonomous. Microboards are self-directed and uniquely independent from other organizations or groups. To increase autonomy, microboards benefit from help with getting set up and with understanding and following governmental policies and procedures. Person-centered. People with disabilities are included in the planning and decision-making process and have a say about how they want to live their life and in what ways they want to be involved in their community. It is easier to be person-centered when accessible activities and opportunities are available in the community. Empowering. Microboard members advocate for and support individuals in overcoming obstacles to maximize their potential for independence. It is easier to be empowering as a microboard when the necessary resources to do so are available and accessible. Interconnected. Microboard members use their own networks to support the individual in building more connections. Microboards are more interconnected when they are made up of many diverse and engaged members, and when the workload is dispersed among the board members rather than being taken on by one or few. Our research showed us that microboards have powerful potential to improve social capital and quality of life for people with disabilities when they are successful at being autonomous, person-centered, empowering, and interconnected. These four features are part of what helps microboards support a person to reach their own goals, participate in activities they enjoy, and increase their connections to other people and their community. If you would like more information about this research project or our other research or activities, please visit our website or follow us on social media.